Hello and welcome to the LFD Solution video tutorial program. My name is Tara Wong and this is the final chapter of a nine chapter series where we will introduce you to our Samsung Smart Signage platform and how to use our Magic Info solution. In this chapter, you will learn about our eBoard solution, which is comprised of Magic IWB and Magic IMS. We will show you how to install and configure it and then show you how to use it in different scenarios. Now, I would like to introduce Tony Pham from the B2B Solution Consulting Group, who will present today's chapter to you. Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial program. My name is Tony Pham, and I will be your host today. For this chapter, I will give you a tutorial on education and corporate vertical product called Magic IWB 3.0. Particularly, I will go over with the introduction of eBoard and its components, on how to install IWB 3.0 software, and what it consists of, what are the key features, and how efficiently to use those features. I'm sure you will get the most out of this amazing product. Now fasten your seats, and let's get into the IWB 3.0 journey. Samsung offers total eBoard solution as you wish. eBoard components are LFD, our professional display, in our case, an ME75C model, plus a touch overlay with the same size as the LFD, which goes on top of the LFD and turns it into a touch display through USB cable, plus the last but not the least component would be our powerful proprietary software, IWB 3.0. Integration of all three creates a complete eBoard solution for the education and corporate environment. Well, let's jump for more details on Magic IWB. IWB stands for Interactive Whiteboard, and it is a teaching solution that allows teachers to efficiently manage students and organize a lively learning environment through the use of a large touchscreen. Using Magic IWB, the teacher can carry out classes with students from anywhere as long as their devices are connected to the same network. Board I is a program that allows teachers to conduct classes effectively by being able to write on the interactive whiteboard and use a variety of content such as images or videos. The manager program is installed on the teacher's computer. The program manages classes and allows device screens to be shared between the teacher and student. Installing the program will automatically install manager quiz tool, which allows you to create polls or quiz files. The agent program is installed on student computers and tablets. The program allows students' devices to connect to a class and Board I. Now, let's get inside of Board I. As you may see, the floating menu appears as soon as the Board I runs. Using the floating menu, we can access the main functions. One of the examples would be the color pens. If you want to access the menu, just press and hold anywhere of the screen and it will appear at exactly where you have pressed it. One may ask, why do we need the floating menu? Why not the fixed menu at the edge of the screen? The biggest benefit of the floating menu would be that there is no need to change modes at the edge of the screen. Teachers with great convenience can utilize the menu in any part of the screen by just pressing on the screen. On the interactive whiteboard, users can create quick memos 
and put notes on it with different pen colors available. Also, student can use the included quick memo function available within Magic IMS Agent to quickly insert comments and thoughts into presentations. They can then post those comments to the presentations. I would say this feature acts as a great tool for memory aid and work revision. It can help for better organization, keeping and exchanging information under a wide variety of circumstances. Another great feature would be gesture recognition. This function recognizes gestures which access specific function. Users can manipulate on-screen information quickly using multi-touch gestures to say, for example, take a screenshot or to generate a new memo. You can also long press anywhere on the screen to display the floating menu. The benefits of these features would be that teachers can deliver rich contents in a dynamic way that encourages participants to interact. The next feature is the content browser. With the content browser, users can easily enter to desktop folders. Users can open contents, say images, videos, or audios, and write and highlight on top of them. The benefit of it would be easy access to contents without going back to the desktop. Images and videos can be easily opened and used during the class. Another great feature would be video recording. You can record the teaching activity on an interactive whiteboard and then save the session as a video file. Videos can be recorded in low, middle, and advanced frame rates. Users can record live teaching activity on an interactive whiteboard such as handwriting notes or running content files. The benefits would be the recorded can be used to several improvements such as the teaching techniques by teachers, presentation skills by students, advices from students by parents, also Student can review the previous class continuously or any class miss can be easily followed up. The next feature enables automatic recognition of handwriting into typed text. Users can press the icon to convert handwriting into typed text. Handwriting will automatically be recognized and converted into typed text by the program. It provides with clarity. Messy handwriting that is difficult to read degrades the accuracy of recognition and may be misinterpreted. Also, converted typed text can be relocated by activating selection mode or deleted by pressing the X button on top. The next feature would be pages saving into PDF and PPT files. Users can save current or all pages as a PDF or PPT file. By choosing the export option, users can specify the range of pages and save it to a specified destination folder.
The benefit would be all classroom notes can be saved into PDF or PPT file and sent to all participants for the review or further self-study. The next feature would be customized wallpapers. On top of given fixed themes, teachers can also use their own background. Teachers can easily customize background by just selecting the right image. Students can pay more attention in class with correspondent background. Now, let's get into managing and collaborative part of this solution. Manager is installed on the teacher's computer and interacts with board I and agent. The program is used to manage classes and share device screens between the teacher and students. Manager allows agent to be controlled and monitored in real time. This is very useful when managing classes. Teachers can open the class and easily check each student's device's status and see what is going on the student's screen. Teachers can also fully control student devices with following commands available lock or unlock the screen, internet, app, and remotely reboot, log off, or shut down the student's devices. Also available, the interactive whiteboard control by student. Students actively join the class and share with the class in a real-time basis and regardless of the location of each student. Finally, data sending to the student. You can send the files to specific students and also check whether he or she got it or not. As you can see, the student has received the image file. One of the great features is document sharing. Users can synchronize the annotation on pre-shared document files. As the documents are sent before the class, users can open the documents with the resolution that each device supports. This function provides an effective way to share documents and annotate on the documents without any resolution decrease. Congratulations! Now you know how to use Magic IWB solution. I hope today's tutorial was helpful for you and I hope to see you again soon in the future. Cheers. Thank you, Tony, for your presentation. So, in Chapter 9 today, you were given an explanation of what our eBoard solution is, along with how to install it, configure it, and finally, how to use it. This is the final chapter in our 9 chapter series. Thank you for watching, and I hope that these videos have been helpful to you. Have a good day.